بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين uh, This is the second part of the section 8.1 about arc length and we studied uh, that the arc length uh, ds I mean ds is the small portion of the arc length uh, is equal to square root of 1 plus dy by dx all square times dx and we found we we said that by taking this is the small this is the length of small par portion of the curve if we take the limit sum then we we find the integral and the integral of ds will give will give us the arc length which we call it l so x would be from a to b and 1 plus dy by dx which is ds okay square times dx so we can and here the function y has to be written as a function of x y has to be written as a function of x so we can use uh, this formula to find the arc length of a curve where the integral is with respect to x and y is written as a function of x. Well, it could happen also that uh, x is written as a function of y. We can solve the equation for x instead uh, of y. And y is given between c and d. So here I can find the arc length using this formula. I can write it as from c to d, 1 plus dx by dy, all square with respect to dy. So it's the same, but we, we took dy. You remember ds, ds was square root of dx square plus dy square. And we took dx square as a common factor. Well, you can take dy square as a common factor. And then I'll have 1 plus dx over dy to the power 2. And then I can uh, th there is no here the root. Okay. I can take one like this. Okay. And now I can write it as square root of 1 plus dx by dy all square and dy square root of dy square would be dy so this i can write it i can write ds in terms of dx like this or in terms of dy like this so both formulas are are possible now what about the the exercises well if the question gives gives you y the values of y use use uh, then you use dy okay here for example set up but do not evaluate the integral so he said y between 0 to pi over 2 so y is from 0 to pi over 2 and I'm going to use dy okay and when you use dy remember when you write ds as uh, dy remember that in the square root I have 1 plus dx by dy to the power 2 so dy would be below okay we find dx by dy and here also uh, the equation has to be solved for for x so you have to have x as a function of of y so when you use this formula y should be given in the question although if y is given you can find x and you can use the other one but uh, whenever y is given i will use y Whenever x is given, I will use uh, integration with respect to x. So I just need to find dx by dy and square it. So this is x. I can call it dx by dy or I can, I can call it x prime. So x prime is the derivative of sine, which is cosine y. So it would be integral from 0 to pi over 2 square root of 1 plus uh, dx by dy is cosine y. So that's just cosine square y dy, and this is the arc length. Uh, we set up the integral. Well, here 
uh, he gave us y between negative 1 and 1. So the integral would be from negative 1 to 1. And I have 1 plus dx by dy square times, uh, or with respect to y. And the, the function has to be solved for x. But here he did not. He said y square equals ln x. So I need to solve it for x. So if I raise both sides to the base e, okay, I will have uh, e to the power y square equals e to the power ln x, and e cancels ln, so x would be e to the power y square. And then x prime would be, I need dx by dy, it would be 2y, the derivative of the power of e, times e to the power y square. So I can write now the arc length integral from negative 1 to 1, square root of 1 plus x prime or dx by dy to the power 2. So for y square and e to the power y square, when you raise it to the power 2, you multiply the powers. So it would be written as 2 e to the power 2 y square dy, and this is the answer. Find the exact length of this curve. Well, y is given between 1 and 2, so I'm going to use the formula uh, y between 1 and 2, and uh, square root, this would be L, 1 plus dx by dy square uh, with respect to y, integration with respect to y. And x has to be uh, written as function of y, which is the case. So let me find x prime. So x prime 8 is a number, I keep it. The derivative of y to the power 4 is 4y to the power 3. 1 over 4 is a number. Leave it. Now 1 over y square is y to the power negative 2. And the derivative of y to the power negative 2 is negative 2 y to the power negative 3 or over y to the power 3. Okay, y to the power negative 3, you can bring it down and write it y to the power 3. 4 over 8 is half, so I have it like this. And 2 over 4 is half, so I have 1 over 2y cube. So this is x prime. Now let me find x prime square, or dx by dy square. Here I need to raise x prime to the power 2. So I will have square of the first term, minus 2 times the first term times the second term, plus square of the second term. y cubed to the power 2 will be y to the power 6, 2 times 3. A six. Now notice that uh, y cube cancels with y cube, two cancels with two, and I'll have negative half here. And now when I add one plus x prime to the power two, I will add one to these three terms. And I will have y to the power 6 over 4 plus half, because 1 minus half is plus half. And then these three terms are similar to these three terms. So I can write them as a perfect square. So it's y cube over 2 plus instead of minus. Plus. 1 over 2y cube to the power 2. So actually, this is 1 plus x prime square. So now L would be integral from 1 to 2. Now the square root of 1 plus x prime square, square root will cancel with this 2, and I'll have just y cube over 2 
plus 1 over 2y cube and now it's easy to continue because the integral of y cube is y to the power 4 over 4 and there is a 2 already here so it would be over 8 and I have 2 and this is y to the power negative 3 so the integral is y to the power negative 2 over negative 2 okay y to the power negative 2 over negative 2 and from 1 to 2 so it is y to the power 4 over 8 minus I can take the minus here 1 over 4y square from 1 to 2 just replace y by 2 and minus replace it by 1 and find the answer another question y is from 0 to 1 so I will use the formula 1 plus x prime well square x prime is e to the power y x prime is dx by dy remember plus 1 over 4 e to the power negative y times negative 1 so times negative 1 I can make this uh, minus and now x prime square would be e to the power 2y when you square e to the power y minus 2 times ey times 1 over 4 e to the power negative y plus 1 over 16 e to the power negative 2y when you raise the second term uh, to the power 2. Now e to the power y times e to the power negative y is e to the power 0 which is 1. So actually x prime square would be which is e to the power y minus e to the power negative y over 4 square is equal to e to the power 2y and 2 over 4 is minus a half plus e to the power negative 2y over 16. So 1 plus x prime square would be e to the power 2y plus half plus e to the power negative 2y 16. And this would be written as a perfect square ey plus e to the power negative y over 4 to the power 2 using this fact so now l would be integral from 0 to 1 square root of 1 plus x prime square so square root of this so it would be e to the power y plus e to the power negative y over 4 dy and the integral of ey is ey and the integral of e to the power negative y is e to the power negative y over negative 1 so there will be a minus sign from 0 to 1 so it would be e to the power 0 which is 1 minus e to the power 0 which is 1 minus uh, no okay I should replace uh, y by 1 first so it would be e to the power 1 which is e minus e to the power negative 1 which is like this okay then e to the power 1 is 1 minus 1 over 4 e to the power 0 is 1 okay so that's the answer so you can write it e minus 1 over 4 e uh, minus 1 minus 1 over 4 is 3 over 4 so that's the exact uh, answer okay another final uh, question again y if between 1 and 9 x is given so i need to find x uh, prime well before finding x prime and instead of dealing with a product the product formula i will simplify expand x first so this is y to the power half 
So I will have 1 over 3 y to the power half times y, so y to the power 1 plus half, which is 3 over 2, okay, minus 3 times 1 over 3 is 1 times y to the power half. So this is uh, x after e expanding. Okay, now x prime would be 3 over 2 times 1 over 3 would be half, okay, so 3 will, will be cancelled with 3, half y to the power 3 over 2 minus 1 is half, minus half y to the power negative half, half minus 1 is negative half, that's the derivative. Well, x prime square, let us, let us write it here below, x prime square would be now half 1 over 4, okay, when you square it, 1 over 4. y to the power half squared is just y, or let me write, I'd like to write it like this, uh, square root of y, okay, over 2 minus 1 over 2 square root of y squared. I just uh, brought y to the power negative half down. Okay, now raise it to the power 2. Square of the first term is y over 4 minus 2 times square root of y over 2 times 1 over 2 square root of y, first times second times 2, plus 1 over 4y. Now cancel, and you get a negative half. Cancel 2 with 2, and you get negative half, as usual. So now if you add 1 plus x prime square, you will get 1, y over 4 plus half. And now you can write this as a perfect square. You can write it as square root of y over 2 plus 1 over 2 square root of y. And then y from between 1 and 9. So L would be integral from 1 to 9. Square root of 1 plus x prime square. So square root will cancel with the 2. And I'll have y to the power half over 2 plus 1 over 2 y to the power negative half. And why I wrote it like this now? Because I, I'll find the integral, all right? So the integral would be half. Now y to the power half uh, plus 1 would be y to the power 3 over 2 times 2 over 3, okay, plus a half y to the power negative half plus 1 is y to the power half times 2, okay, from 1 to 9. So, uh, 2 cancels with 2. I will have 1 over 3, y to the power 3 over 2, uh, plus 2 cancels with 2, y to the power half from 1 to 9, replace y by 9 minus 1 and get the answer. I hope arc length now uh, is easy for you.